I should not have put on this clown outfit, it's a little bit warm. Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. So, we are looking to get to the slab of meat before the cockatiel gets to it. Somehow, some way, I'll hopefully be able to do so. So, the cockatiel, as you may have seen the last part, is... Oh, I was punching the screen again. I was looking up there at yeah, once, it's looking for meat! But it has not found the meat just yet, so maybe there's hope to us being able to get to that meat. So let's grab ourselves a lava bubble and not go in the right direction first. So we're gonna go in here. Look at that. Look at that. Little purples are hinting at a certain area there. Interesting, is it not? I think it is. Checkpoint down here. I might as well go ahead and hit that because I can warp around nice and freely. Boink. Grab another one. Salt Pile Isle is a place indeed. And grab those. And I'd also like to go around here because I think there is the path that I was looking for in the last part. Yeah, I think I, I was looking on the wrong side of this. Oh, actually... Well, I mean, I guess I can show this now, but... I, th I th Oh, I think this is actually the later... Not the later area that I'm thinking of, but something else later. Pretty sure this is a dead end. It is, but uh, you still want to come down here for the purples, let's be honest here. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I was thinking that this was leading to another path forward, like after you get the Moons of Destiny. Uh, in a little bit later on, you'll see what I mean there, but for now, I guess that was not the right place anyway, but that's okay. We're just gonna go around the lava goo of sweetness or something. I have no idea what this is. Maybe it's like coagulated meat fat or something like that. And we're gonna go around the perimeter looking for stuff in this wide open area just because. Why not? We've gotta collect it eventually, right? Right! Don't you dare leave a single collectible behind! <laughs> and of course, I'm going to that door last as I'm going around the perimeter counterclockwise and whatnot, so. Not that big of a deal if I leave stuff. Oh, yeah. In the middle of this is a moon. Might as well grab this, too. Dunk! Yeah! Inside island of salt floating in the lava. It's very descriptive. <laughs> it's a shiny spot, kind of hard to miss if you're looking around. Although I guess you may confuse it for steam. Oh yeah, um, these grates you can go straight through with the poto boo. I mean, nah, excuse me, lava bubble. Yeah, <laughs> so you gotta jump out when you have reached the door. Anyway, bonus ish. <laughs> Alright, going up Volbonans, and zunk, 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 hit that. Definitely want to hit, actually maybe you don't want to hit that so soon. <laughs> I want to go over to this one, actually, that's right, that wasn't the secret, secret path forward. I did a little homing move there. And yeah, there we go. <laughs> Oops, did that too early. You know what, it doesn't matter which one I have, I think, in this case. Uh, actually, what is this? Yeah, I think this is just like a... It's just a suck yourself over the places repeatedly dealio. Uh, okay, okay. I think there is actually a secret moon around here, though. So be on the lookout for that. I'm just kind of panning, you know, like taking a look-see around as I go. But anyway. One, two, and... Whoa, 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 I, do, I could do the most complicated platforming stuff to recover from things, and then I just do that. I mean, I could have just continually hat thrown the whole way, and then would eventually been able to hat jump, but... Oh, no, 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 <laughs> no. No, it's just, just way, way too complicated for me to do that move. Alright, fork flicking to the summit. By the way, when I, I skipped that, uh, one of the forks on that side by doing a homing attack, yeah. I think, actually, the secret is up here. Well, I guess there's... I guess there's this, but I mean... Maybe it's not. Uh, hmm. But where... I thought there was a secret moon in here. Or... Or there was it just, like, simple... Bounce yourself over to the side. And I'm thinking of something else. That is possible. 
Like that. Okay, that was correct. <laughs> Fork flicking detour. <laughs> All right, let's continue on our fork flicking adventure somewhere else because I think this place is now cleared out. Yeah, it was right that there is a secret moon, but it was not right about its location. All right, so I got that lava out, so I can now go ahead and take the other path to the right. And the quickest way I would say is to just warp back over to here and then do some rolls. Yeah. Oh, I didn't mean to hit you. I'm sorry. Well, they'll forget about it soon enough, don't you worry. Oh, no, I want you! Okay, there we go. <laughs> now, for the regular path... I guess I'll recollect these, but anyway. <laughs> you just gotta do some jumps on these. This is just like jumping on the, the sand the geysers back over at the uh, uh, Sand Kingdom. In that if you if you jump or if you fall off them, you can't like get up them from the side. You just kinda... Well, I mean, except, excuse, excuse me, it's not quite like them, but it's just, it's that you do jump on top of them as they're going up, but you cannot use their powerful jets to actually get yourself up there if they're, if, like, if you're just walking into them, unlike the Sand Kingdom, but other than that, it's just like platforming at the Sand Kingdom is what I mean. Man, I misspoke there terribly. <laughs> uh, do I need you? I don't know if I need you guys for something. I don't even. No, I can't even get you. Can't even get you over there. Oops! No, no, no. Don't, don't, don't fumble with the controls now, PK Gam. You've you've embarrassed yourself enough. All right. So he's gonna tell us what's going on. We need that meat up there to finish our stupendous stupendous stew. Well, I'm sure that crazy bird is going to go after it. What's it covered with? Salt. That's how we cheat our meat before dropping it into the stew. Extra tasty. Oh, jeez. Well, that is, salt is like the ultimate ingredient for flavor enhancement. A cheese block. Interesting. Interesting. What could one do with a cheese block? I hear something twinkling around here, though. But perhaps we cannot get up there right now. Perhaps we will have to leave. Oh, more cheese blocks. Hmm. We got some hammer pros throwing frying pans. So about that cheese block, <laughs> what, what say you, yeah, you could, <laughs> you could destroy cheese blocks like so. <laughs> yeah, just use your frying pans, I guess it's more like a pan bro instead. So let's go ahead, <laughs> open up that cheese block, and get ourselves, oh, this one's a nasty one, I forgot about this. Finding everything here is just... It's horrible, just horrible. It's just, there's so much stuff to destroy, and I think there's actually something. Uh, hold on, I I can't go in the first person view. Man, oh it's oh it is behind the cheese. Okay, so I was right about oh shoot. Well, I'm gonna have to wait for it to respawn now. But yeah, there's moon shards here, but I wanted to focus on the, the secret moon before I forget it first. Alright, can I just like throw... Yeah, well, I can throw that, but... <laughs> no! <sighs> That's partly why this is so horrible to collect everything in. Because you can't, like, destroy your own platforms. But yet you need... to make platforms disappear. <laughs> I wonder if I should just leave and reset this really quick here. I think I probably should, just to make things a little easier here. So I got up there before on my first try, but I, I forgot exactly where the moon was. It was behind the wall. Ah, okay. Nope, nope. 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 And yeah, don't worry, it's not covered by cheese this time around. See, the thing about it is I destroyed this floor, and it made this making this jump a little bit harder than it should have been. <laughs> Alright. Climb the cheese rock. Okay, cheese rocks, not cheese blocks. Now for the rest of this junk. Um... I guess I can destroy everything I please. <laughs> Either mash the button or wiggle your hands up and down like your punchy Bowser's and creating a frown. I think there's actually, yeah, I was gonna say there's a moon shard in there. I remember that. Moon shard up here. I think there is a moon shard up in that structure there. If I recall correctly, I just don't want to destroy too much of the floor because there's all lava down here. That's another thing that makes this really annoying to actually deal with. 
Uh, okay. Clear, clear. I say, clear, 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 clear. Okay, you, you guys have got to go. Moonshark, I know you're in here. There you are. <laughs> and it takes forever to clear this out, too, because it's like, you're trying to be careful with this junk, but it's just, there's so much of it. Because, <laughs> you, you, like, you don't want to destroy the floor, obviously. This is number four. But you also don't want to destroy any critical platforms. Like the last one's in here. Uh, or maybe it's not. Maybe it was in this middle? Oh boy. Here we go. This is this is the part where I lose my mind looking through blocks endlessly. Oh, it's not up there. <laughs> I don't think it is though, but... Because yeah, I didn't see the shard. Okay. Uh, wait, actually, do I don't want to look around? No, okay, I didn't think there was anything too high up. It's only that one secret moon that's kind of a jerk about that. Uh, but the rest of it, you got these regular platforms that you can, well, platform across. But the rest of this is still, still a little treacherous. I thought it was in this area. Dang it! I thought it was in that area. Maybe it's not. <laughs> Maybe it... No, wait, wait, wait. I think it is. I think it is. Yes! There's a hole down there. All right. Done! <laughs> okay, that wasn't as bad as I remember it, actually. Probably because I was trying to break every block or something like that, but... Mm. Eh. Okay, we're done here. I think it's just gonna poop me out of my hammer bro. Frying pan bro, yeah. Ah, it doesn't matter. We can easily grab another one right over here. And to actually get ourselves into that case where the uh, uh, moon is being held, I believe you gotta kill everything here. Or, oh wait, not kill everything, excuse me, you gotta make your way up there by hitting a switch, excuse me. Because, yeah, um, they just keep, they just keep spawning so that you can actually make it up there. Got a couple of purples in there, yeah, they're hidden pretty well inside the cheese. So, don't miss stuff here, either. And there's a switch over there. Uh, I guess I can just... Do I, do I need to get out of my bro to hit the switch, or can I just throw a pan at it? I probably have to get out of my bro. Yep, have to get out of my bro. Alas! Alas! <laughs> ah, okay, we're good. And can I get back in my bro before he despawns? Yeah! <laughs> Woo! Yeah, I didn't destroy these blocks, so... That's kind of why I, don't, why I wanted to get back into my bro. Did I get all of these? I know I got some of them, but not all of them. Okay. And... Moon! Another chapter is complete! Sort of. Undermine the cheese rocks. Next uh, po section of this isn't very long, if I recall correctly. It's just a bunch of uh, basic platforming, basically. Uh, there is some uh, purple coins that you want to probably take a lava bubble up to relatively sneakily, but, well, we can't... I don't know why they're pointing out the pot, because that's how we're going next. We're go actually going over to the, uh... Uh... Oh, I thought I was gonna hit the land there. I thought I was actually going over to the, uh, meat, and yes, I am indeed going over to the meat. So to get these, what you want to do is let that turn into lava, and then you're able to jump up and get these, but the trouble is, this one in the corner here... <laughs> That's, uh, it's, it's a spicy tomato, let's put it that way. If you're trying to manipulate the tomato AI to, to actually unbubble themselves there, you say, I'd like doing it this way. <laughs> oh, you like that. And now, um, I showed you some purple coins on, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I showed you some purple coins on the other side of some bars. They were, uh, like, I'll show you on the map here. I was down over here by this, and then I looked through this wall here, and I was like, ooh, there's something over there, as hinted by the purples. Well, now that we're on this side here, guess what we can do with this? Well, actually, I don't think I can do it here. That's the hole right there. I guess I need... Oh, dang it! <laughs> okay, well, I missed again! <laughs> yeah, there we go. All right. Upsie doodle, and get those purples. Yeah! So for once I showed the hint first before I actually showed you how to get to the purples, unlike what I did at a bunch of other kingdoms, but whatever. <laughs> as long as I collect everything, we're good, I suppose. Um, 
think I need a fire bro to light that torch in the middle there for another moon, but I don't think the fire bros have uh, done their spawning thing yet here, so I think I'm just gonna have to make a do with a regular bro and leave things be for now. Uh, actually, wasn't there like, yeah, down here, there's another path. Eh. I just want to go. There's another cheese block back here before I go into that door. And cheese blocks, well, cheese rocks have got to go. <laughs> and this one contains the second of the golden radishes, well, golden turnips, excuse me. So now we've got to take this back without losing it somehow. That's actually a lot trickier than it may look because we've got the critters in our way. And we can't use any of the lava bubbles to actually get there, so... Enjoy! <laughs> and when the turnip gets hit by things, I do believe it self-destructs too. So, yeah... Uh, I think I need to go over the structure, because I think there's like a little staircase. Yeah, it's sneaky. And, okay. Alright. And there we go. Completed! And then I'll just warp back over there using the powers of the checkpoint. Golden Turnip Recipe 3! I thought that was number 2, because number 3 is like up on top of there or something like that, and that's something accessible a lot later on. But anyway, back over to the path, and now I'll go inside that hat door to give it a little explore. Ah, uh, well, maybe it's not as close as I thought it was, but details will be fine. <laughs> oh, 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 what am I doing? What am I doing? <laughs> Long jump first before you throw your hat, you imbecile PK Gam! <laughs> Alright, hat door. We're in. And sure enough, we've got bubbles in the troubles. And the gimmick of this is that, there, it's, yeah, you could fall right over the edge. So don't. <laughs> for, for obvious reasons. It's not that. I was gonna say, it's not that dangerous, but... Well, maybe it is if you're rushing, but... <laughs> ah, let's try it again. No, 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 no! Dang it! Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it! Dang it. Okay. <laughs> I was catching those so easily before, and now it's like I, I'm fumbling every time I have an opportunity to grab one. Maybe I need to calm myself. Oh, jeez, that's not calm! Oh, jeez, that's not good. Uh, I need you guys to, to form a bridge here. To get so I can get over to the secret moon, if at all possible. Thank you. I use the power of the lava and go through here without touching the ground. And upsy doodle dandy, there is a secret moon crossing to the magma. But the main moon is way, 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 way over that way. Which I'm just gonna drop my lava bubble here and grab a new one. Should respawn. There we go. And we're off! Who would have guessed we're off? Um, you can take a whole bunch of shortcuts here as well, just by jumping over the holes and stuff like that, but... I'm not sure I recommend that, unless you're really confident in your platforming. Plus, you want to go over here anyway. And that's, so that's not really even close to this sort of shortcut. <laughs> uh, there's also the other route over yonder. Yeah, but eh, I don't really have to take it. You just mainly want to focus on the right route because of the purples. Always jump where the platform is going, not where it was. And I guess I'll take a look-see around here to see if there are any treasures around the place. Nah, I guess we're good. Alright. Magma Narrow Path is done. Now we can just climb up to that meat and probably call it a park, because there's really not much more to this path other than like a couple of purples here and there. So you basically just keep following this until you get to the meat. And yeah, it's all mega, mega straightforward uh, overall compared to uh, the other segment there. It's like, here, checkpoints, look at that, we made it. We made it to the meat. <laughs> It's the meat plateau, and it is indeed covered with salt. But wait, there's a question mark on top of it. You don't think that we will become the meat, will we? Oh yes, we will. Twitch out of that, yes, yes, and get yourself over to this edge. And uh oh, 
We have alerted the bird! It couldn't see it before because it was behind the bush! So we shouldn't have done that, actually! <laughs> oh no! It's got us! Oh no! It's gonna eat us! It's so hungry for some reason! I guess it's just, well... Well... It, it looks like it just eats a lot in general, so maybe it's got... I don't know. Well, look, what, what, what the poop? We made it! We made it to a triple moon without a boss fight? Huh. It's kind of weird, isn't it? Well, I guess... I guess we could take it, hey? Yeah, I guess we'll go roll on down here and get to that triple moon. Whoa! By the way, this is the stupendous stew that we're sitting in here. And look at that! Look at that! We did it! We did it! Although, the meat, it didn't make it. It got cooked. And maybe not to their specifications. Maybe there's something that we can do about that later on. Hmm. But for now, the big pot has... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Oh! Hold your ground, Mario! You can do it! Uh-oh. Oh, jeez! It's even higher up now! And Mario's a goner. He's going in the lava. Nah, it's okay. <laughs> Climb up the cascading magma is next, and that is the side route that I was thinking that I would take later on, but yeah. I, I took a frontal route, which is a dead end, but I'm actually, like, later on I'm supposed to take that route, which is a locked door otherwise. Yo! Blasted all the way back here? That is one angry volcano! And the volcano is still erupting! And it's doing a good job cooking the stew, though. Well, anyway, with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when maybe we can... Rescue the stew from the bird. Maybe, I don't know, it's got some powerful wings there. <laughs>